Today, we're going to be looking at the results of the very latest human TMG study. Published only last month in the Journal of International Society of Sports Nutrition, the study recorded impressive increases in testosterone levels, as well as significant improvements in physical performance parameters. Now look, if the average 7% increase in testosterone, as claimed by the study, is actually legit, then that would potentially make TMG one of the most powerful legal muscle builders available. So if sports performance, building muscle, or simply avoiding sarcopenia in later life is important to you, then you might just want to keep watching. Any safe, thoroughly tested supplement that makes it easier to build or maintain muscle as we age should, in my educated opinion, instantly be classified as an essential longevity supplement. And that's where, along with creatine and a couple of other compounds, TMG satisfies that criteria perfectly. Now, although TMG does have considerable peer-reviewed study about evidence to back up its many health claims, this new study serves to perfectly highlight TMG's potential as a safe, healthy, testosterone-boosting performance enhancer. For anyone who's not familiar with the supplement, TMG is just an abbreviation for trimethylglycine, and rather confusingly, it's also known as betaine. Now, the two main roles of TMG in the body are osmoregulation and methyl group donation, with the latter playing a vital role in keeping homocysteine in check. Now, before we move on to the study in question, let me first tell you about the highest quality TMG product on the market right now, and that's the pure lab-tested filler-free TMG capsules from the aging research company Do Not Age. I personally buy several of this company's supplements and they have very kindly provided viewers of this presentation with a 10% discount code, which I'm told will work with any of their products, including subscriptions and special offers. So there's some amazing deals to be had there. And now, on to the study. The three-week study was a double-blind randomized crossover trial. And if you're not familiar with crossover trials, they're simply trials in which the participants receive more than one intervention with the effect of those interventions being measured on the same individuals. The study participants consisted of 43 experienced male CrossFit practitioners, aged between 18 to 45. Now, the primary aim of the study was to evaluate the effects of TMG supplementation on body composition, CrossFit performance, muscle power, and the concentrations of selected hormones. The secondary aim of the study was to analyze the effectiveness of two different TMG dosages, and those were either 2.5 grams or 5 grams daily. The study participants were divided into two groups, receiving either a placebo or TMG daily for three weeks. And this was followed by a three-week period during which no supplements were received. Now we know from a previous study using 6 grams daily for 14 days that serum TMG concentrations return to baseline after only 4 days post-supplementation. So in the case of this study, 3 weeks is more than long enough for TMG to clear the system and for any affected parameters to revert to pre-supplementation measurements. Next, there followed another three-week period. However, this time, those who had previously received the placebo now received TMG, while those who had previously received TMG now received the placebo. Crossfit performance was measured using the Fight Gone Bad workout, which consists of strength, gymnastic, and endurance exercises that engage both aerobic and anaerobic energy systems while the various blood factors tested for were all measured before and after each of the two treatment periods. And the results? Well, those were extremely positive. Those individuals taking the TMG supplement experienced an average 8.7% increase in their CrossFit workout total, while their testosterone levels were found to have increased by an average of 7%. As the researchers expected, no changes were recorded in association with taking the placebo. Interestingly, there was no difference in the results between those taking either 2.5 or 5 grams of TMG daily, which of course is already an indication that 5 grams is likely an unnecessarily high dosage, but more on dosages shortly. Also, I'm happy to tell you that the study participants reported zero side effects during the trial. 
Now we already know from previous study data just how beneficial TMG can be to our overall health and longevity. And also how important it is to supplement with TMG if you're taking NMN, which is actually the main reason why I take it. However, the data recorded by this latest study perhaps promotes TMG to the next level. The degree of testosterone increase experienced by the TMG group would be considered a highly desirable effect for many men. That 7% increase could make significant improvements in muscle gains following regular weight training. And TMG may even be of use to those men experiencing symptoms of low testosterone. The only issue that I have with the study is that only total testosterone was measured. It would have made far more sense to measure both total and free testosterone. This would have provided far more useful data regarding the bioavailability of those increased levels. Hopefully future studies will address this oversight. I should also mention that there's one big caveat to address, and that is, if a man is on testosterone replacement therapy, then there will be no additional increase in testosterone resulting from the supplemental intake of TMG. And that's because while on TRT, natural testosterone output is 100% suppressed. And nothing can reverse that so long as the exogenous testosterone is being regularly administered. However, the many other health benefits of TMG will still be fully activated. So even if you are on TRT, don't let that steer you away from supplementing with TMG because that would be a mistake. And you can learn all about the many benefits of TMG by watching this channel's related videos, which are on screen now. Everything you could ever want to know about TMG is here, and I've left links for you in the video description. Where dosage is concerned, I would suggest that one gram per day would be a good starting point, and may even be all that's required for many. You can also find the recommended health and longevity dosage suggestions in the videos just mentioned, so please watch those for more info. But ultimately, the only way to be 100% certain that your testosterone levels are rising as a result of TMG use is to copy the study protocol and get your levels tested before and after three weeks of TMG supplementation. If necessary, you can then further increase dosage and measure testosterone levels again three weeks later. And this can be repeated as often as required until you reach your optimal dosage. In my experience, in most cases, there'll be no advantage in exceeding three grams daily. And lastly, for your information, in a clinical setting, the dosage used to lower elevated homocysteine levels is typically four to six grams daily. Many thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this presentation, then why not subscribe to the channel? That way you'll be sure to keep up with all that's new in health and longevity. And lastly, as always, take care, be healthy, and see you again soon.